while Rafa Nadal was busy getting his sea legs, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. Before play kicked off in Monte Carlo this week, Nadal went for a little sail, looking quite comfortable as part of the crew off the shores of Monaco. But those shots don't compare to his sailing skills in this promotional video we unearthed, where Nadal does his best to convince tourists to visit his homeland. It's so ridiculous, and by ridiculous I mean amazing, that we're just going to show you the entire thing. Come to see me. Come to feel Come and enjoy my island. As we reported earlier, Nadal had a chance to face Queen of Poker Vanessa Selbst in Monte Carlo. We now have video of his poker face, or lack of it. Rafa composed, collected and focused, used this event to put into practice everything he has learned over the past few months. If we played like one match, if I could take one point. One point, sure. I can, I can do a double follow. 20-year-old rising star Jovana Jakcic may have lost in the Monterey Open final last week, but that didn't stop her from becoming the latest in a long line of tennis players to celebrate her success with a little dancing. She even got tournament director Hernan Garza in on the act. Brooklyn Decker appeared on The Craig Ferguson Show this week to promote her new sitcom, Friends with Better Lives. There she explained why she stays away from tennis lessons with her husband, Andy Roddick. He told me, you know what he said to me? I shouldn't even, okay. He said to me, just get this, so we're playing and I've never played before and he right. says to me, um, you know, honey, uh, point to where you want to hit the ball and then follow through, just point and follow through. And I said, stop talking to me like a five-year-old. Like, you can tell me, like an adult, how to hit a tennis ball. And You're said, right, girl, you don't need you. that. I don't yeah. need that. And he said to me, if you play like a five-year-old, I'm gonna have to talk to you like a five-year-old. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I crushed the racket into a million little bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to the WTA and USANA Health Sciences, we were able to find out what exactly Andrea Pekovic is eating on game day. Take a look. Turkey? No. No? Oh, I love corn. It's my favorite. Strawberries. Yoo-hoo! Grapes. Chicken, of course. Pancakes, I would love to, but I'm not allowed. Pasta, yes. Cheesy, yes. Orange. And for some culinary dislikes, we give you this clip from the WTA's All Access Hour in Charleston. Anything you don't like? Sushi. Sushi? Really? <laughs> okay, so no sushi. No Stick sushi. to Italian. <laughs> I hate chocolate. You hate chocolate. chocolate. No. Ew, oh wow, no. we're we're total opposites because I love chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Serena Williams graces the cover of the latest issue of Fitness Magazine, where she talks about embracing her body and dancing as part of her regular workouts. She followed that up by posting this bikini shot from a recent trip to the beach. Laura Robson made us chuckle with her tweet upon meeting actor Ewan McGregor. So this happened, she said, hashtag stalking works. Robson has been sidelined since January with a wrist injury and recently announced she'll be having surgery to repair the problem, causing her to miss both the French Open and Wimbledon. Sam Stoser and the rest of Team Australia are taking on Germany in the upcoming Fed Cup World Group semifinals. And she spoke to a local station about what she's missing out on to play for her country. And Sam, your love for Australia is well known, but people might not know you're actually giving up this weekend a chance to play in a German tournament that if you had won, you would have won a Porsche sports car. If the girls need some motivation over the weekend, you're going to make it clear exactly what you've put on the line <laughs> to be a bargain. Yeah. So they owe you big time, don't they? Well, only if I ever won the tournament. I've never managed to win. I made the final once, so that probably uh, hurt a little bit, losing that one in three sets. Last week's tournament in Katowice, Poland proved to be a breakthrough event for champion Elise Cornet, but we also found ourselves mesmerized by this time-lapse video of two courts being merged into one overnight.
In perhaps our favorite clip of the week, Donald Young got a very questionable audible obscenity warning from a chair umpire at the Sarasota Challenger. Take a look. Oh, you son of a biscuit, man. Biscuit, man. Biscuit. There we go. It's a key game, obviously. I said, bitch, come on, Keith. Don't give me crap for that, man. Please, don't even give me crap for that. It looks like... I said, son of a biscuit. That's a problem? That's a problem now? That's a problem. It's been well established by now that Bubba Watson is not your typical Masters champion. But did you also know that he can play tennis with his pink driver? Well, sort of. Finally, the annual Monte Carlo Players Show took place this week, and because no video has surfaced yet, we'll just have to leave you with this clip from last year's show, featuring Milos Raonic's rendition of the Harlem Shake. That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.